What's going on, people? Jada Black here. Back with another video. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I'm going to talk about the Los Angeles Chargers safety, Jaleel Adai, and his wife, Lindsey Nelson, dealing with some uh, pushback for comments that were made in, I believe, an IG story. Okay? And they were posted by Jaleel Adai's wife. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that. What's good, people? Make sure you go to my Teespring store, Unofficial JDB Merch, and go buy some gear that I have put up in the store. Support the platform, buy a few things, and make sure that you continue to promote and support Jada Black. Now, I want y'all to understand something. I've been looking at comments uh, about this, and of course, black women are saying, well, you know, there's black self hatred. You know, you love Becky, you know, um, you hate yourself and things of that nature. I looked at the video and I want people to understand that in the video, Jalil Adai is holding his child. OK, he's not really even I mean, he I think I believe he toasted. But if you look at the video, there were other people there, okay? Now, was he co-signing what was being said? Yes, okay? But it's kind of unfair to single out one guy because his dumb wife decided to post this on social media. I think everybody at that table needs to be held accountable. And the one thing that's bothering me is that you're singling out this one guy, okay, who was actually there with his kid, unlike some of the others. That to me is alarming. Why out of everybody that was there is he being targeted the most? I'm just saying. But anyway, look looking at this video, all right? I truly believe that something is going on between Jalil and his wife. And I'm going to say this because it seems to me that they have probably had this toast before. But you know how sensitive society is when it comes to colorism, when it comes to black men being with white women. Yes, that's very controversial. So posting this, you know that this this guy is going to get a brunt of the criticism because, you know, his wife is the one who's recording this. Nobody else is recording. She's recording and she made sure to <laughs> record him. <laughs> so. I'm telling y'all, I'm looking at the deeper layers of this. I truly believe she set this Negro up. But anyway, now I'm looking at the comments, and a lot of a lot of black women are upset, and a lot of, and you have brothers that were upset too. I I truly believe that you do have black men out there who do hate themselves, who have an issue with their skin tone. All right. They, they will tell you themselves that girls didn't like them growing up. People make fun of them. That's why they date lighter skinned women or white women. You got brothers who are in these different corners of YouTube talking about black women all the time because they were clown growing up for their skin tone. They won't admit it, but they were clown. That's why they're out promoting interracial dating and things of that nature, because they used to get clowned because of their skin tone. You know, now I don't condone this at all i think that if it, joking is joking i know we all have said you know things joking wise to each other that people may find offensive you know but to put this on social media that you want more light-skinned kids and to have your wife recording it lets me know that she did this on purpose now, I don't know what type of woman she is, what her political affiliations is, or, or, or what type of woman she is, period. But she knew, she should have known. Now, unless she's just dumb and don't understand how society works these days, she she must, I mean, must have, she had no self-awareness whatsoever, or she did this on purpose. It's one of the two. Okay? I don't believe that you are valued higher because of your skin tone i really don't i think the people who believe that their skin tone makes them of higher value are people who have a small mind and people who are mentally weak 
Okay? And there are people who um, should never be put on a pedestal in society. I don't care if they're athletes or not. Now, I saw a comment from a, from a black female. She made a very good point. Out of all the emotion aside, all the emotion aside, she said that black women who have biracial children, they're praised for having biracial children. They're told how beautiful their children are. And that's a fact. I've seen it. I've seen black females have biracial children and people put them kids on the pedestal. I've seen it. This is going on for a number of years, but nobody says those women have self hate. You know, I think the difference with black men and black women, especially the ones who date outside their race is that black men are going to be more. They're going to be more honest about dating out black women or not. They're not going to be as honest. Okay. Because they they understand optics, they understand society and the perception. A lot of black men are naive to perception, whether it's their own doing or not. Okay, this is not a, this is not a good look. Now, according to people, they said that both him and his wife put their IGs on private. Yeah, I, I bet they did, because this was very stupid of her to post this and him to co-sign it. And and I want people, I want to make something extremely clear. People were saying that all the brothers that were around the table were dark skin. No, there wasn't. There was one light skin dude or brown skin guy at the table. They all weren't dark skin. Okay. Because it's amazing to me that you got all these, you got, you got some light skin people who we ain't heard of in a while coming out the woodworks talking about some It's always the dark skin people that are saying this and that Get the fuck out of here. I have seen light skin people talk about how they only date light skin people miss me and move out of the way okay your comments are not needed okay because you're just as big a hypocrite as other people so move out the way no you don't want to hear you just move out the way go go back in hibernation for another couple months to something else uh goes viral okay now the thing is with me i i just believe that jalila die is one of those guys who attended white or uh, a, a university that was majority white you know, a lot of white women, he got there, he left, you know, his neighborhood where, you know, it was probably primarily just black women. He didn't, and he got to an environment with white chicks and saw that it was a lot different and he wanted to continue dating those type of women, you know, but the whole light skinned kids are better. It just shows that this guy and a lot of those other guys around that table, those guys have issues with themselves. You know, those guys will date a woman based off of her being light skinned or based off of her being white. Okay. That they see that as better. They see that as a better option for them to date and marry. They, they see the, those women as better mothers. They see those women as better wives. Okay. Up until she files for divorce, you know, <laughs> so she files for divorce and take half of what you have, you know, then that's a different story, you know. But I think people need to take emotion out of this and get to the deeper root. This guy and, and those other guys, they only got women because they were athletic. They probably don't have a personality. Okay. Women probably have never really found them attractive. But the fact that they're in the NFL and they're making money, it makes them more attractive. And you have white women who are more aggressive when it comes to dating these guys. These, these are facts. They're more aggressive. They know how to deal with these guys. They know what these guys want. Black women aren't willing to change who they are to get these guys. That's why they're always on the outside looking in. You may not like that, but those are facts. We keep it logical here, people. No emotion. I don't know this guy. I would not hang around dudes who want, who think that light-skinned kids are better. I would not hang around people like that. I would toast to my kids being, you know, healthy, vibrant. You know, lively, healthy. I'm not going to toast them having like, eat. now listen, we've all made crude jokes. We've all made crude jokes. But when you are a public figure, when you are an NFL player, NBA player, whatever, you got to be very careful about what you post on social media. Now, I know that Jaleel did not post this, but your idiot wife did. Your wife is an idiot, dude. She set you up. She got everybody upset at you. I don't know what you did to her, Jaleel, 
but she was willing to take the brunt of criticism in order to make sure that everybody knew how you really felt bro so you need to clear that up with her bro because it's just it's very weird for her to just put this on social media knowing the climate that we're in she is in an interracial marriage and for and i'm pretty sure y'all have had conversations i'm pretty sure y'all have had conversations you little and for her to still put this on social media man i think she wanted to get back at you and it wouldn't surprise me at all if stuff comes out that you done cheated on her that one of your side chicks or whoever wants to get some you know wants to get some attention some clout and she talks about how she's been messing around with you and your wife knew about it and you toasting to having more light-skinned kids every one of you brothers around that table are absolute morons you're idiots and your wife jaleel is a bigger idiot okay she's an airhead but she might not be as dumb if she's doing this to get back at you because women are very sneaky bro they're very conniving you do something to them they will find the right time to get back at you okay so understand that be careful of what you do to people they will especially when you're in a relationship with them they will find a way to get back at you now i'm also going to say this too people are trying to make it seem like Jalil Adai is pro-black. Now, I haven't seen his Instagram. I think his Instagram is on private. But I don't think that he's a pro-black. I haven't heard anything about him being pro-black. If I, I'm going to look up some posts. But I don't think that the brother is pro-black. Um, I Honestly, though, I think that for the most part, when it comes to um, these pro athletes, they're 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 only pro black in public only. A lot of these guys are taking the pro black pro black uh, pro black route because they don't want to be criticized. Now I'm looking at Jalil Adai's Instagram, and he's deactivated his Instagram, and it's probably going to be deactivated for a little while until everything blows over. It's going to blow over, you know. Uh, because y'all gonna find something else to be upset about like you always do but don't be fake hurt don't be fake concerned i don't know why this surprises people there are men with different opinions jaleel does not speak for all black men he don't speak for half the black men he speaks for black men who are around that table the black men who are around that table that's who he speaks for okay so keep that in mind and keep emotion out of it he's not a part of your life so you shouldn't feel so upset about this y'all let me stay in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts